The diagram below labeled X and Y shows the structure of two molecules. Study the diagrams below carefully and answer the questions that follow. So I is asking us to identify the molecules labeled X and Y. So the molecule in X is sodium chloride and ACL. And the molecule in Y is hydrogen gas H2. Then I, I name the atoms that form each of the molecule labeled X and Y. So the atoms that make up X is sodium and chlorine. And the atoms that make up Y is hydrogen and hydrogen. So two atoms of hydrogen. I, I, I name the interatomic bond between X and Y. The interatomic bond between X is ionic bond or electrovalent bond. And the interatomic bond between hydrogen gas is covalent bond. Ivan, describe how the interatomic bonds in X are formed. For ionic or electrovalent bonds, they are formed when there is a complete transfer of electrons from the electropositive atom to the electronegative atom. The electronegative atom has an affinity to accept electrons. So the electropositive, which will form a cation, would release the electron to the electronegative so the electropositive would have a stable electron configuration because it has transferred one of its electrons in this case which is the sodium which has one electron on the outermost shell to chlorine which has seven electrons on the outermost shell and has an affinity for one so after the bond is formed both of the atoms would now have a stable electron configuration that is the outermost shell with fully filled. Now, with the vein, describe how interatomic bonds in Y are formed. With covalent bonds, they are formed when there is sharing of electrons. So, this hydrogen atom had one electron, this hydrogen atom also had one electron. So, we just brought the electrons closer together to form a stable electron configuration. So, realize that the two electrons here are being shared so they all have two electrons on the outermost shell click on the image by my channel name to see more videos that i make